Hey there, I am H.V. Davis and I wanted to do a video that I wish somebody had shown me when I was first starting to play guitar and that is which first guitar should I buy? And there's a lot of factors that are going to influence that decision because uh, there's a lot of guitars in the world and there's a lot of different styles um, but more importantly I think as far as a foundation goes and a starting point uh, there's a lot of musical styles there are a lot of artists and bands and, and genres that, that you might like. Um, and I think it's important to use that as your foundation instead of getting caught up in, in what, what looks the coolest or maybe uh, what you think you should get or maybe the most versatile, which is the problem I certainly had when I first started. I, I wanted something that covered all the bases just in case I wanted to do them all. Uh, instead of focusing on any of those factors, I think it should really be all about um, the style of music you want to make, and maybe more specifically, what sound you want to make. I'll never forget being in a guitar shop when I was first starting to look for my first guitar, and I was shown a Fender Stratocaster, uh, which, if you're unfamiliar, looks like this and they plugged it into an amp, and they played it a little bit so I could hear what it sounded like. And I remember thinking that I loved the sound and that it sounded like Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> who was the guy that I was really listening to a lot at that time and was totally blown away with as far as guitar playing. But I didn't walk away with the Stratocaster. Instead, we ended up ordering something from a catalog or a website, um, and I got an Ibanez. Actually, this Ibanez right here. This is my first guitar, my first electric guitar. It's an Ibanez Art Core AXD81 VLS, which are numbers that nobody would know and have no reason to know, but I bought this because I thought it looked cool as hell, and it got a pretty good review in a guitar magazine. And those alone are not awful factors to use to judge an instrument, but I really wish that I had started on the Stratocaster and could have started that close to uh, the foundation of tone that I would have really wanted. Now, that's not to say that it totally derailed my entire guitar playing career and that um, everything was awful simply because I didn't have a Stratocaster, but I do wish that I'd followed my intuition and my ear more than anything. Um, so here are a couple of tips for buying your first guitar. First tip, identify who you like to listen to and who you want to sound like right out the gate. I think music is about expression and I love the uniqueness about music and that you can be bringing something unique to the table. But when you first start, it's nice to have that reference point of what you want to sound like and I think that will inherently inspire you to be creating uh, more enthusiastically. So what does your favorite guitar player play? Maybe that's a good starting point for you. Number two, playing the instrument and making sure it feels comfortable in your hands. Um, when you start playing guitar, a lot of it's going to be uncomfortable and a lot of guitars are not going to feel great on your fingers just because you're still getting the hang of it. But I think there is something to be said for the neck profile, which is this, and the scale length of a guitar, which is the length from the nut to the bridge. Um, Fender guitars um, can tend to feel a little more stiff as far as string tension because of the scale length, whereas Gibson guitars uh, or Gibson style guitars because of their scale length can feel a little slinkier. And this all depends on different string gauges and whatnot, but play a guitar, put it in your hands, and if it's difficult to play, don't go with it. Tip number three is stay within your budget. There's no reason to buy an expensive guitar out the gate. Tip number four, don't buy it just because it looks cool. So those are some great tips for uh, 
finding your very first electric guitar. Uh, in addition to all of those methods that you're going to be looking for as attributes, um, there are also several starting places as far as where to purchase from that I'd recommend. Uh, there's no reason to buy a brand new guitar uh, if you don't have to. Typically you can find an excellent example of an electric guitar um, used. Some great spots to be looking are Craigslist, um, Reverb.com lists a lot of used instruments, um, but you can also be purchasing brand new from Rondo Music Shop, who makes, uh, who sells these the Agile family of brands. They're Korean made. They're great. Um, but those are a few starting points, and of course you can be searching all over the internet, but basically I'd be recommending, if you can help it, someplace uh, where you can be getting the guitar in your hands before making your purchase decision. That way you can get a feel for, one, how it plays in your hands, and two, what it sounds like through an amp, and see if that sound inspires you. So those are some initial tips for purchasing your first electric guitar. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to uh, leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, and if there's more videos like this that kind of surround the topic of questions that you would have uh, as a beginning guitar player or of any level of guitar player, uh, I'd love to know about them so that I can address them and share my thoughts that I hope you guys would enjoy. So that about does it on that front. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Thanks.